Hello everybody, it's Chuck Thunder, <clears throat> and welcome back for another episode of my Let's Play series on UWO, um, but it's not really a Let's Play here. We are going to discuss a few things as my character travels from Southeast Asia with a boat bucket load of spices, as well as uh, we're going to pick up some pepper while we're at it as well. Uh, and get, you know, sacrifice some of our food for stores for that. But I wanted to discuss how good is this game in 2024? Is it worth playing as a new player? And is it worth playing as a seasoned player? I think those are two different and loaded questions that need to be considered um, separately. There is um, a coin to flip here on which side of the fence you're on. Um, from someone in my perspective who's been in the game since 2004, when it first was released uh, in the early 2000s, the game was revolutionary to me. I mean, even then it wasn't mind-bogglingly amazing. The graphics are still the same then as they are now, pretty much. Maybe some slight tweaking. But graphics aside, because we're all playing this game as a seasoned person, not for the graphics, but for the gameplay and everything else. So as a seasoned person, is the gameplay still good? Now, I can speak from a position of somebody who plays this on a purely passive level. I don't do PvP, I don't do combat, um, I don't really do adventuring too much. I have done some, and I plan to do more because that's part of the game that I have yet to explore in depth. But as a general whole, I don't, uh, I don't think that this game has gotten any worse since then. Um, the there are a few criticisms about if the game has gotten worse since then, in the sense of its um, uh, expansion and uh, of its or inflation of its currency and the ticket systems, captain's tickets and the, the ducats or ducats. Um, that's something I've absolutely seen. There are things that you were like 50 to 100k before, and now they're worth 500k, or even several million ducats, or even billions of ducats. So there is a significant um, inflationary change to this, that if you've been playing for years, you've kind of grown with, and maybe earned the money as you go, that hasn't quite ruined the game for a lot of people. Um, that sort of change um, might have bothered some, but hasn't really ruined the game for many. So starting from there, I don't think that's something that is going to change the game's overall fundamentality. It just changes your expectation of how the investment goes. And if you're in this game, you're in this game for the long haul in the first place. <laughs> Sorry, I had to uh, close my window. It was breezy. So that being said, um, in 2024, there was uh, a patch coming out recently that I want to discuss, but in other seasons, in other years past, there have been several patches, um, and those game, those patches have added content and changed a few things, but mostly added content. Um, so that doesn't take away from the game; it just keeps on expanding the game for those new pl for those old players just to consistently do something. Um, so that's always a good thing. So in 2024, if you're an existing player, so far so great. Um, as for adding content and keeping things fresh um, and allowing you to expand on your character even further. Um, now, there was a, another thing to mention if you're an existing player. There was a time before and after what we call the, uh, I guess, the resetting. There was a reset when Netmarble, the original owners uh, of, the pre of the servers of this game, sold the property to another company, OG Planet. And, or I believe that's how it was. It was Netmarble to OG Planet and then OG Planet to Papaya Play. One of the two. One way or another, there was a sell-off where it caused a full game reset. And when that full game reset happened, many existing players who had put 10 years of investment into the game suddenly saw all of their hard work and money removed. Just completely deleted. And they were told they needed to start all over again. Now, they did compensate those people who had accounts and re-logged in with additional bonuses. I was one of those people, and that's how I got back into the game again once the reset occurred. 
because um, I had taken a hiatus for several years even after the reset and when the bonuses were help out there they helped significantly to get back into the game but all of my hard work and people who have put in ten times more hard work than I did all of that was gone so that left a nasty taste in people's mouths um, a year, few years back and when that happened that completely changed the way people felt and they left the game there are some people who have never returned to the game ever since then and that caused a steep drop off in the population of the game um, I would still say there's a healthy amount of populations of people who are still playing from those years but that means those people are still okay with restarting I actually like the restarting the restarting of a character is actually the fun part for me I enjoy the early parts of almost every game that requires some investment um, like I played Diablo 3 I love the seasonality of the game that you can create a new character and level up to level 70 it's fre refreshing to do it again especially when they release content every year of a new season with that being said though this was a full reset for a lot of people and a lot of people left I came back but only after a long hiatus um, but ever since then it's been an uphill game there's been no real changes to the game that have really made me say I don't want to do this anymore I've criticized that that they've made the game um, better for the people who exist but they don't make it better for the people who join there's not a lot of early content added and that makes sense I mean the, this game is held together by the existing people it's not gaining a lot of popularity in the world and gaining new people coming in all the time to the same level that say like the newest AAA title releases but it'd be nice if there was some early game refreshments there so that if I create a new Charles Thunder and he wants to go through a whole new leveling scheme it will be different than the last time right now the only difference is whether or not I play as a Venetian or Spaniard or English and that's fine but that's really not much variety when it really comes down to it I mean if, if World of Warcraft was solely only about its four races several races and they left it at that and never bothered to add new races and new classes forget it the game would be a dead game by now which arguably it's very dead compared to what it was 15 years ago but long story short um, I would say for existing players the game is only getting better since the resetting days with the exception of the newest patch the newest patch is upsetting a lot of people and the newest patch that is set to release I think this week coming up there is a patch that is going to buff now it sounds like a good thing buff all new ships both bought and created or built in game with an extra durability boost and a few other benefits that sounds great we're getting a buff to our ships however although we're getting a buff to our ships um, we are not really getting um, that kind of benefit for our previous ships that benefits just not existence I mean it's not kind of we're just not getting it and that means the ships that you've spent money on both cash and time on those ships just don't get that benefit they just are what they are there's a pre patch ship and a post patch ship you could have two grand flutes that are completely different from each other just because you built them before January 17th and after January 17th and that problem would absolutely compound itself tremendously so people may leave again I mean I've heard enough sentiments about it that people will leave um, for this and I wouldn't be surprised if they leave in the next coming days because that patch is yet to go through uh oh I'm running out of I ran out of cash and my trust is dropping uh, that's not a huge deal we're almost to uh, a calicut here and we'll get our cash back <laughs> um, anyways so yeah, this is a real serious problem for a lot of people in the game. For me, it's not a huge deal because I've never spent a dollar on this game, and that's okay. And I have built ships myself, but I haven't spent hours of time building ships. So the ships that I have built, I'll just trash and rebuild new ones. I mean, it's no big deal to me to start again. I didn't invest as much time. But anybody who's spent hours and hours and hours and days and days and days of time building a ship and or playing the game to earn certain things to make their ship even better but then be told that your ship could even be more better for PvP because you have more durability if you built it after X date they're going to be really upset and they're going to likely leave the game which from somebody who's a very passive player like myself who plays for trade and plays for adventure who doesn't need the extra durability 
that sounds great for players like myself, but if you're a PvPer or a, um, uh, a maritime shipbuilder or a maritime player, that's going to leave a bad taste in your mouth. So, is the game still good in 2024? Yes, absolutely. Will it be dead after the patch? Not entirely, but it'll definitely see a, a pain from people who find that as a problem. If you're somebody who builds ships all the time and you get this bonus and you just want to keep on building, by all means, it should be fine for you. But I would definitely argue that for a lot of people in 2024 who have been playing the game for a long time are going to have a bad taste in their mouth and not want to continue playing. Um, as for new players, the game is great. It's always been the same. If you like a game that has a lot of um, time investment and turnaround before you see it a benefit, that's going to absolutely going to be your kind of game. In my day and age, with a child on my lap now, I don't have the time to start fresh, but I can pop in a game here now and then to do something. But I can't do too too much, um, you know. So for me, as a new for new players, great. If you got the time, invest, and you want to do something for the long haul, still the greatest game that I've played when it comes to um, uh, sheer size and scale of things that you can do. For me personally. Um, but, although, for new players, I still have the same sentiments that I've had for many years, is that the early game is still a little bit too difficult to catch on for new players, especially if you've not played this kind of game before. Um, it's one of those things that's going to have to change over time, um, <laughs> just because there's, there's, I don't know if that change is going to ever occur, but it's something that if you're somebody who's a new player, and as you play and you get better at it, it becomes easier, but it's not one of those things that the developers are just going to suddenly say, snap their fingers and make it easier for you. It's going to be difficult. Now, is the game rewarding and satisfying? I would say yes, depending on what it is that you're trying to do. If you're a maritime player nowadays, that may or may not be the case if you're an older player, but if you're a newer player, it still will be. Um, can you become good? Sure. With a amount of massive amount of investment, um, and uh, what did I write here? I wrote, "Is it balanced?" That I can't tell you for, because again, I don't do much maritime, so I don't know how balanced this truly will be. Um, my personal opinion is that if you want balanced, um, you'd have to speak to players who play regularly in the market of um, this kind of stuff. I'm not one of those people, so I don't know um, how balanced it could be, but. Um, for me, when it comes to making money, it's as balanced as you want it to be. Yeah, sure, I'm not making as much money as players who have maxed out all their skills and have the extra ships with extra storage and have all the safety things so they don't get robbed and all this other stuff. But, there we go. Um, but, you know, that's just because I'm lucky enough to, to not get robbed and stuff and can still make the money. I mean, I have to borrow a million bucks here just to continue sailing back home because apparently I did not have enough when I was trying to sail back. So, um, so yeah, I mean, is game still rewarding? Yes. Is it balanced? Probably. Is it really for your play style? That's totally up to you. For my play style, I find it still rewarding. I don't have issue um, ever with playing this game with other, pl other people. There are people who take real um, issue with, um, you know, how the game progressed for them over the years and I don't blame them if it were me and I was in their situation and I had invested as much time if I were them and I was investing in the things that they've invested in I absolutely would feel kind of spurred by some of the patches and updates but in 2024 is it still a good game on a scale of 0 to 10 I would say it's about a 6 to a 7 for most people um, uh, the, for me early game stuff is what turns it down the most but if you're a new player and you want a challenge it could be closer to a 7 or an 8 um, but I hope this video was helpful for those people who find it interesting about how I feel about the game in its state in its current time frame. I'm still playing it, so I must still love it. Uh, I'm not playing as much as I used to. As soon as I finish doing this game here today, I'm going to go play some Diablo because I need something to change it up. But there was a time where I invested a significant amount of my time into this game. So, hope this video was informative to those of you who are interested in getting into the game or those who just want to hear a rant about the current state of affairs in the game. But I hope this information was helpful, and if you could, like and subscribe, and for sure share the videos to any of those people who might be interested in loving the game too. Alright everyone, take care, it's Chuck, signing out.